Hey guys, it's Jem here. Welcome back to another World Edit tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use brush cylinder to make some pretty terraforming like is behind me. So, the first thing I'm going to show you guys is the command. Now, this command is mostly used for flatter terraforming like you see here. So if you want to do cliffs, you're going to have to check out my other videos, which I will link in the description below. Alright, so let's get started. If you're on versions 1.8 or lower, I will note that you will have to use two slashes when using the brush command, but because I'm on version 1.10, that won't be an issue. Alright, be our cylinder, and then our block, which I'm going to use quartz just because it provides a nice contrast from the grass. And then our next two parameters are going to be our radius and our height. So I'm going to use a radius of 4 and a height of 1 to start. We'll change this a little later. Okay. So you can see when I click on the ground, we get our cylinder. And here's our radius four. So there's our middle. One, two, three, four. Radius of four. And our height is one high. So this, although it is extremely useful, and I do use it in this build, uh, it's not useful for doing these hills. So we're going to want to change our height. Now the main height that I use in these hills is two. So you can see that so that places it just one block above the ground, which is super handy, and this is the technique that I use in order to get those hills that you see there. So I just click it around, and then if you go on top of that, does it again, and again. And that makes getting those shapes super simple. Of course, you can do up to a height of six, but I don't find that to be super useful in terraforming. I'm sure you could, use this fairly easily to make cliffs similar to our spheres. However, for the flatter terraforming, I'm going to be sticking to a height of 2 throughout the video where I'm making this. Another quick note that I want to do is uh, when placing grass. You can actually place grass using the cylinder command. All you have to do is get the ID, so BR sil 31, oops, 1, then air uh, radius of 4, height of 2, and then I'm going to mask air so that it only affects air blocks. Oops, one slash, one masking. And now if we click on the ground, whoa, we get these. Uh, the seeds are popping up because I'm clicking off a little bit and put, trying to put it on a second layer, which will happen. Uh, so yeah. That's a really lazy way to place grass if you guys were interested. Awesome. You can't do it with the spheres because it places it in the air, which creates entities. See, if I try to place it in the air, it creates a lot more seed entities, <laughs> which can make a whole lot of lag if you're not careful. But of course, if you're feeling lazy when placing grass, super simple way to do it. All right, let's get into building these planes. Alright guys, so getting started on our terraforming here, you can see that I'm just using our brush with the height of 2 and dragging out a big circle. And after that, I'm just laying more cylinders on top of that, kind of slowly in layers, because this is of course a plain slime and I want it to be relatively flat. So I'm making some more ovals, some fun shapes, not just circles, but I'm mainly focusing on a kind of circular curved shape. I'm not doing anything that has any hard edges which is kind of hard to do with a cylinder anyways, but you guys get what I mean. Yeah, I'm just layering the cylinders on top of each other slowly. Some areas aren't perfectly staircasing. Sometimes they have like a two block drop height, but no more than that. And I'm not layering it any taller than about five blocks high. I don't want to make these into big hills. They're just made, meant to be some flat planes. Alright guys, so once I've got these kind of hills where I want them, I'm going to start using my cylinder and replacing it with air instead of quartz to just make some dips down in between my hills. I don't want this to be just lumps of dirt on top of flat grass. I want it to be very dynamic. So I want to have ups and downs and I'm making sure to really get this in between because what I'm going to do is have a pond right in that middle section there. So I want the areas around it to be elevated just a little bit, but I will also want there to be different dips and have a nice dynamic to it. 
I'm also getting rid of some of the quartz that I've done on some of my other mounts and just kind of shaping it and getting it the way I want it. After this, I begin smoothing. So for my smoothing process, I'm really focusing on making circular shapes with the mounds. I'm not going to focus a lot on smoothing in this video because it is a world edit tutorial, um, but you're just going to make some smooth circle shapes with your quartz. Uh, really try to get rid of any one by one blocks. You can see that I'm doing that all the way around the edge and really just try to smooth out those edges, get a really nice flow going. Okay guys, so I am going to make a quick note here that I am not using World Edit Smooth. As you can see, I'm smoothing it by hand and this allows me to get the exact curves and shapes that I want in the clip. If I was to use World Edit Smooth, it tries to flatten out the terraforming and kind of makes a staircase -y kind of really harsh edges and it's not something that I enjoy. If you're feeling lazy or the terraforming is not super important to you, then sure, use World Edit Smooth. However, for this video, I'm going to be smoothing by hand. You can also smooth with voxel, however this is in a single player world so I don't have voxel available to me. Alright, so once I've got all of my quartz changed out into grass, I start carving in a little area for my pond and I kind of just keep it a simple little circle, nothing super complicated. And after this, I kind of look around and I realize that all we've got right now is grass. So I want to start adding some different textures into our plains realm and I start experimenting with some different blocks. but. I end up settling with some andesite. So what I'm doing with this is just kind of tucking it into little corners where the planes are actually just a little bit higher and where they have like two block high gaps and you can see dirt underneath. I just start tucking in some of these little rocks and I think it gives a really nice texture to the planes when you look around. Kind of makes it look a little bit more realistic to me. Like it's a little rocky. It's not all just perfect grass. You know, I don't want it to be perfect. Nothing in nature is perfect. Okay guys, so remember at the beginning of the video when I said that that cylinder with the height of one was going to be useful a little later on? Well, this is where that comes into play. So what I'm doing here is just getting a cylinder with a variety of blocks. I think I've got andesite and cobble and smooth stone. And I'm just using that height of one and pressing it into the grass there. And then I do it around the edges again, this time with wood and coarse dirt. Then I try to kind of mix in some of the colors by hand. So you can see how that one height command actually works really well similar to masking on the flat bind, but you don't actually have to mask anything. Then I use my fill command and fill in my pond and I start adding some landscaping. So our terraforming at this point is technically done. What I'm doing from here on out is all landscaping and decoration. So this right here what we've got is kind of the starting point for our build. What we're going to be doing from here on out is actually building. So I'm adding some boulders, some lily pads, some leaves, some grass, some trees, you know, all of these different components that really make the biome come together. I'm not going to be showing a lot of this in time lapse, but I did show a little bit just to give you guys a nice idea for what I'm doing. What I'm doing right here is actually adding a stream. And if you know anything about water at all, it erodes the earth quite a lot. So to make this look a little bit more realistic, I'm going to be adding some rocks and coarse dirt around it and kind of sinking it into the ground to make it look really realistic. Like it's actually eroding out that, the little side of that pond. And I think this gets a pretty cool effect. I kind of play around with the rocks a little bit. I try to give the water a little twisty effect like it's going around those rocks and I think it turned out really nice. Alright, I'm going to do the rest of the video in time lapse. I hope you guys have enjoyed so far and I hope you guys like this build. Thanks so much for watching.